Yes, extremely graceful. And, and, and emotional, look at, look at the emotion in the woman on the, on the right. The uh, sense of how much thought there is in, you can really identify with her, uh, with her as a person. She's really a real, she's a real person exactly like you are, all are. I mean, if you, if you look at anybody's face, you get an incredible amount of ideas about them from the way they look. I mean, I'm looking at you and you are extremely expressive. <laughs> but everybody else is too. I mean, faces are just, are, they're, they're enormously powerful uh, to each of us, somebody else's face. Um, and, and it's not, and it's extremely hard when you're drawing someone to get the feeling of what the person seems like to you on paper. Has anybody tried it? It's, just ask, <coughs> anyway, it's hard, right, David? And, and there's more than you can ever get. And he's really, he's really, he's got something. Uh, so you can just see what a genius he is, or what a, maybe the most, one of the great, great draftsmen of all time. There are other things, too. The, um, oh, now, this is important. This is why I, I, I hope I could, there, there are some, there are some important structural things happening in this page of drawing. See if someone, do, somebody here could come up with it. It has to do with whatever the word structure means. It would be um, abstract forms that appeal to our sense of uh, geometry. So, somebody, see if anybody can find one. Anything will come on, come on, you guys, I know you can do it. You said geometry? Yeah. That's the easiest way to see structures, to think geometry. What, what are you thinking of? Geometry would be imposing some idea you have of, um, of, uh, it's, it's a, I have to say, I just, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or, uh, or simply um, lines that go together uh, because they're, uh, they're pleasingly flow into each other. There's a big example up here. I know somebody's going to pick this up. Guitar. Yes. Now, how? What about it? Come up here and look at it closer. I think you're about to point this out. Form. Her, the line over top of her arm, right? So, so now that's why I 
up goes Greg. So he's going, and then he goes bang, like that. And he really accentuates that in a way that's, um, um, it's not just he was drawing, now here, here you, this is what, uh, what I would have trouble fitting in with what I said before. Didn't he overdo that line a little? I think he did, actually. Uh, to me, he accentuated it. It's a violation of a highlight. He what? It's a violation of a highlight. It he makes no sense for it to be that dark, because if the light's hitting it, it wouldn't be dark at all. So it's, so, a, so it's a kind of a, a, if it's a violation of a highlight, it's because he's trying to stress something. But what is it that he's trying to stress? That's going to be hard to say. But, um, well, one thing about it, I, I just thought of it. Think of the whole, think of the whole picture at once. Look at the, stare at the whole sheet, as they say, right? And, okay, now, if you had nothing but that black line in there, where would it be? If everything was gone except the black line, where would the black line be? Almost, right? So it's sort of, uh, now the idea is, uh, now this would be the way I could reconcile um, a whole lot of things that I want to believe in, although I, I have trouble sometimes, to, you know, I lose confidence, but when you're doing a picture, and, and it all of a sudden occurs to you that you want to make a line right in the middle of the picture because it seems like you must do it. Um, have you all ever had that experience? Yes? Has anybody ever had an experience of feeling you should do something, but you didn't know why you should do it? Yes, um, And that line goes right in the middle, and it you don't ever know what, but, but there's, a, there's a whole lot of theory about painting that says that that uh, <coughs> has something to, to do with um, the uh, larger forces in painting, which are essentially abstract. Um, and it, it brings abstraction into the, into the mix of observation. feel that there's an abstract structure that is also communicating to us as strongly in this picture? Everybody say yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, if you had to say, what's the nature of, of the abstract structure, could anybody just see it and say something? Just say it. It's, it's something to do with, and I would say you were sitting out here like this. And you say, well, it's something to do with. Uh, do it triangle. with your hands. Triangles. Try and do it with your hands. Like, see the triangles. You have to do it with your hands. Everybody, see them. You have to feel them. See, see, look, they go, oh, there's that. And there's that. A triangle, absolutely. Where's the biggest triangle? The body of the woman on the right. The shapes in between the figures. You know, triangles are a big deal. Thanks for mentioning triangles. <laughs> because, you know, one thing you can, if you set, find a triangle when you're painting, you can get, congratulate yourself because triangles are, for some reason, intrinsically good. Uh, and you don't have to know why. Uh, now, I tend to think squares are good. <coughs> I like uh, these kinds of forms that we saw first. But once you add that to triangle, and you start seeing the interplay between the things going this way and the things going this way, and now, ah, oh, I just thought, I'm telling you, I swear to God, if we just looked at this drawing, that's what we're using up, we could talk about this drawing for an hour. All right, where did, I just saw triangles, a whole bunch of triangles, uh, or lines that are going at the angle, this angle. Where, where am I seeing them? In that area. Yeah, show them, show me. Yes, yes, and they're going like this. Da, 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 da. Now look at these. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. So all those 
look at these. Now, the way you see this as structure is if you kind of can see those lines going this way, and you're, if you kind of focus on them and not see it as the dress, just as lines, oh, actually try that, because all right, this would be another thing you do. Everyone would look at the picture and look at lines and not look at the faces. You notice that there's like sets of lines going in different places? They have some sort of coherence <coughs> to them. Well, so, oh, oh now here's, a, here's one of the ideas that I'm most interested in, and this is the idea that I'm uh, trying to learn about. Again, I can't do it in my paintings, but I definitely under, I see it and I understand it. And I'm going to talk about this when we look at the Louis Lenin. I have a terrific Lenin painting. Um, now it's and this is a big idea. You, you should just I don't know where everybody is in their painting world and everything, but but it's the idea that I think is the hardest one. And uh, the word I have for it is transparency. That's what I was taught that to by my teacher in graduate school, Nick Roney, who would talk about transparency. And that's a word that would be, that sort of floats around. Uh, and I have an example of what transparency is. 